Hello everybody, this is Brad from Into the Darkroom, and today I'll be showing you how to use WordPress. Uh, to start out, you want to go to wherever you installed your WordPress installation. Uh, and you'll see here that this is our Vega demo. Uh, go to that URL and then go to wp-admin. I see your login screen, so go ahead and type in your login information. And you'll be greeted with your dashboard. Your dashboard is your overall snapshot of, of your WordPress installation. Um, every, every installation might look a little different depending on what version you have. Uh, we have WordPress version 3.3.1 here. Um, I won't show you every single detail and option of a WordPress uh, backend, but I will show you the, the main options. Uh, to, to start out, we'll add a post. So you click Post, Add New, add a title, add some content, and if you want to add an image, do it here. Give it a second to load. And then you'll scroll down here, edit any kind of information you want and insert into post. Uh, you'll notice these icons here. These icons do different formatting options. Uh, if I want to make this content bold or give it underline um, or center it. There's a lot of buttons here so you might want to play around with them to get more acquainted with them. Uh, next after you add your content you'll probably want to add a category. So I can select ones that I've already created or I can add a new category. Um, we can also add some tags. Um, it says excerpt, so if your theme uses an excerpt, you can type it there. Um, or you can add a featured image here. Um, again, if your theme uses a featured image, this is where you do it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and publish this one. Now I can actually view it in the browser. Now to edit my post that I've already created, I'm going to click Posts. Um, you can see this last one I just created here. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then you can see it's in my trash if I ever need to restore it. Next up is Categories. Uh, this is where you manage the categories you've already created or you can add new ones. Tags is very similar. Um, you can add uh, add new ones or delete them. Next up is your media library. Your media library is just the house of all of the images and uh, movies or any other type of media that you've uploaded. Um, you can edit it here, uh, delete it here, or you can actually add new ones. And you do it almost exactly how you did it in the post. Next we have links. Links is your blog roll. Um, you know, this is where you link to uh, different blogs that you like or maybe different websites. Um, this is, th these will show up in your sidebar and there's a widget for that that we'll show you later. Uh, next we have pages. Pages are very similar to your posts. Um, your posts are your entries where your pages are more things for uh, like about me or contact or archives. Um, we can add a new one and this is done almost exactly like a post. Uh, what's different here though is you can see over here they have page attributes and this is where I can give it a contact page template, an archives page template, a um, page with a sidebar, or whatever else your theme may come with. I'm going to publish this and now I can view it in the browser. And I'm going to come back here and delete that one. And next up is comments. Comments, uh, if, if you have new comments, it'll generally show a little um, bubble here with the number of comments that you have. Uh, once you're in here, you can unapprove comments that were already approved, approve comments that haven't been approved, um, edit them, uh, send them to, spa or to spam, or delete them. Next is appearance. Uh, if you click appearance, you will see 
the themes that you have available to you um, right now, the active one is Vega, um, or I can install new themes. I can search for a specific name, um, or I can actually do a search based on these criteria. Next up is widgets. This is the sidebar. Um, you can see we have a sidebar uh, populated already over here. So to delete one, I'll come right here and delete it. And then I'll go ahead and add it right back. Um, and then I can create a custom title for it right here if I want. We will go to a post so that we can see the sidebar and you see the one I just added. Uh, you can rearrange them just by clicking and dragging and you'll see that they get rearranged. Uh, next up is menus. Menus is uh, your menu up here. Um, you can see we have a couple menus. We'll add a, a third one. Give it a title. You can add some pages to this menu. Add a few categories. Um, or I can add a custom link. A custom link is an external link to another website. Give it a label. Go ahead and add that. Um, and then I can actually create sub navigation items. So when I do that, I will just click and drag here. And now these are sub navigation items to this one. Um, I can also create a dead link. A dead link is a link that it doesn't go anywhere when you click it. So to do that, I just make a fake URL here. And I click dead link. Or I'm um, title it dead link. So then I go like that and I save. Now you won't see that navigation uh, uh, menu just yet. You have to come over here and add your menu to be the live one. And now you will see what we just did. So you see your uh, sub navigation items and you will see your dead link, which you see I'm clicking here and it doesn't go anywhere. Next up is your editor. Your editor is something you typically don't want to use. Um, it's, it's how you edit your actual theme that you're using. Uh, we don't recommend editing our themes. Uh, so like I said, you generally don't want to use this one. Plugins. Uh, you'll see the plugins you currently have installed. Um, these ones are activated and you can tell these ones aren't activated. I can click to activate like this. Uh, you generally get some kind of message and then I can go ahead and deactivate it. I can add a new one by clicking add new and then I can go ahead and search for it or use these recommended, right, er, recommended tags right here. I'm just going to pick a random one and install it and then I'll activate it and then again I'm going to come here and deactivate it and then actually delete it. Uh, next one is your editor. Your editor is again something you generally don't want to use. It's how you edit your uh, plugin. Next is users. Users are all the users that can uh, are registered to your blog and some of them that can actually um, make posts. So right now we have the only one in there is the admin who can make posts. Um, if you want to create uh, another user, click add new, fill out the information and if you want them to be able to create posts just like you, you can add them as administrator um, or editor. You can also come here and change your profile so you can change the way your name is displayed, your email, uh, general information, and then you can also change your password. Uh, next is tools. Tools is mainly for importing and exporting your posts. Um, if you want to import your posts from a previous blog, you have your options here. Uh, if you want to export your posts, and actually create a file where you can later import to um, another blog or just as a backup.
you'll come here export and you'll download this export file that it generates next is your settings um, I won't get into all of these options but uh, there's the general settings where you can title your site this is what shows up in the, um, the top of the browser um, this is where your actual website um, files exist and something you generally don't want to change um, unless you're very experienced with WordPress you can change the systems email address um, and other general options writing is for while you're writing the post those are the writing options uh, the size of the box converting different format options the default uh, post category link category etc um, and then you also have a few other uh, writing options here that are, are a little more advanced and then also a pinging service um, which basically pings the search engines uh, if you create a new poster page next is reading uh, this is for options while people are reading your posts uh, you can you know shorten the amount of posts on a page which is generally a good idea if you have a lot of images or um, really long posts um, a lot of our themes or blog sites actually require you to um, change the the page displays here so you want usually want to create a page called home and select that as the front page and then your post page as the page, uh, the blog page that you created we didn't create one yet here next is discussion which is all of your comment options uh, you can completely turn off comments um, you can make them uh, disabled after a certain amount of days your email options for when people comment um, your blacklist words stuff like that um, and then your avatar you know except just all the things uh, that are related to the comments you got your media um, your media settings here you can change the different default media sizes uh, image sizes that get uploaded um, and where your where your uh, your images get uploaded on your server you have your privacy options which basically is you can enable um, your blog to search engines or disable them you also have your permalinks uh, you can see here that our permalink structure is set to be the default one which is yeah, uh, question mark p equals and then the number um, you can see here that our URL structure is exactly that so when I change the permalink to a different one now if I refresh that uh, you can see that my title has changed here Uh, you can also see our ITDR admin. Our ITDR admin uh, is a plugin that comes with our theme that we'll actually get into in a different video. But uh, other than that, that is that is pretty much everything you need to know about uh, the WordPress backend. If you have any further questions, you can contact us directly or leave them in the comments. Thanks.